Oh, what is going on you guys welcome back to another video on the channel today i'm bringing you guys another new format video branded mirror match today i hopped in accepted this guy i saw him have the quam art i was like bro this might be a mirror match let's get it uh before we get any further into the video if you guys could drop a like on the video greatly appreciate it greatly helps out the channel and we're going to hop right into it there's still a lot of testing to be done uh for the new format bro i'm hearing like cash is not dead cash is still going to be a top tier contender we don't know i think brandon's in a pretty good spot so I'm going to keep playing it, and yeah, we'll hop right into this match. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Uh, you guys went pretty crazy on the last video, so I appreciate that a lot, man. Um, I do make mistakes sometimes, and sometimes I'll accidentally cheat or something or forget something, but I appreciate you guys in the comments for letting me know. And, you know, everybody makes mistakes. We're all here to learn and play the game and have fun, so let's hop right into this mirror, bro. So he wins the Rock, Paper, Scissors. He goes first. He starts with Gold Sark. He has Gold Sark, Ad Lib, Retribution, Tragedy, Branded Fusion. I have Red ad lib retribution we both open ad lib and retribution cartesia and fusion deployment um so he goes gold sark banishes mercurier which is fine mercurier effect search for quem also fine quem effect to go ahead and dump he's gonna dump cartesia so he definitely has fusion in hand so activate fusion that is unfortunately fine i do play ash in this deck but it's only at two uh, then he goes Shrouded Dragon and Albaz for um, Lubelion. I would, bro. I I'm, I'm tired of it. The one that requires a dark, bro. The one that requires a dark. Put back for Mirror Jade. That's cool. And then he goes Cartesia effect. Uses the tragedy from hand. That's fine. Goes into Grand Goil. Grand Goil 1. Tragedy 2. That's fine. So he goes ahead and searches for Aluber. Just some nice follow up. And then dumps the Albion. And then he goes um, the Shroud to dump Lost. And then add it back with Retribution. So that's fine. So he adds it back. Add back the Lost. That's fine. Come on. So many clicks in this one. This was a long game. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of clicks. There's a lot of next plays. There's a lot of thinking in this in this one. So he activates Lost, goes to end phase, and then sets the Branded in red. So that's fine. So pretty nice board, pretty nice board, can't lie. Um, so think in draw phase, we go opening and draw phase, discard ad lib, uh, summon out Al Aluber, Aluber effect, go for fusion, and then we go main one, main one he says is okay, we activate brain fusion, and I go for the Renbrim here, because I know he's going to try to mirror jade, and I have deployment, and I can like mirror jade his thing. If he negates, I could bounce, still use this. So I thought Rimbrum was pretty good here. So after that, he goes Quem to bring back the Cartesia, which is fine. And then he thinks he goes uh, Cartesia effect. So I can't respond here at this moment. He goes Grangoil, Grangoil effect, Lost, Chainlink 2 to search, search for Albaz, which is fine. And then he sends the Malong. So he just plays Malong to send this off this. Which, you can do this. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one face of card your opponent until it's returned to the hand. So, it's like, you could just use that as an interruption, but, I don't know. It's 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 cool that you can do it. I don't know, if it, I don't know how good it is. Because I just go Renbrim effect and a gate, and then bounce. And then he thinks on that. And then he goes uh, Mirror Jade effect, which is fine. Hold on, my girl's calling me. What's up? Turn my show off. Yeah. All right, so he goes um, Mirror Jade Effect after the Rinbrum to Banish, and then he sends Albion for cost. And then I'm thinking, because I do have Ad Living Grave, I say Jade is okay, and then he says Think of Chain, nothing. And then I do end up bouncing the Mirror Jade here, which I kind of didn't have to, but because I had an opening to protect my fusions, but it's possible I'm going to end on... You know, Quem and other stuff. So we go Fusion Deployment after that. Discard the Retribution. Albaz Effect. He thinks on that. He gives that a thumbs up. I take his Grand Goil and then make my own Mirror Jade. And then he activates Grand Goil Effect from Grave, banishing itself to summon out the Lulu. And I think, and I say, hmm, okay, that's fine. So I activate Cartesia because I do have Albaz in Grave now. Summon out. And... I haven't normaled yet. Right? 
fusion deployment, branded opening. I don't think I normal. Um, so we go Cartesia. Maybe I did. I don't know. I, I might be tripping. Girlfriend called me mid game, bro. I'm flustered. Uh, so he goes Lulu. Um, cause summon, and then I chain Mirror Jade here to get rid of that, cause he could do some things in the end phase that I don't approve of, and then he just negates the Grand Grail, which is fine. And then I have one more card in hand, so we go red, target ad lib. My hand was pretty nice. Hand was pretty nice. Um, so we go ahead and make Chimera, banish those off board. We got Chimera one, ad lib two, target Mirror Jade. And then he activates red here, or else I just pop. But still, I'm still just gonna pop. I'm still just gonna pop, still no Chimera. So he's gonna make his own Chimera. Which is like I guess, and it's like good thing I bounced the rim, uh good thing I bounced the mirror jade because he did end up having the ad lib in hand. I don't think I knew about the ad lib. So it's pretty good that I did bounce the mirror jade or else he would have been able to bring that back, which is not good. Uh instead he just brings back the Quem here, I'm pretty sure, but I get to pop his Chimera before he gets uh to activate its effect and he doesn't have opening engrave and I get to pop his loss as well, so it's pretty nice. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So he summons back Quem, Quem effect, which I give that the thumbs up. And then he goes ahead and dumps an Albaz there. So it's fine. So he has one Albaz in grave, one in hand. And then I'm just thinking right here. It's a lot to think about. And then I just go battle. Because in grave, I have Retribution still that I could add back. Um, Yeah, that's, all, that's about all I could do right now at the moment. I do have Mirror Jade live again, so I could have Mirror Jade and banished the Quem, but it's fine. And I actually misplayed too, because I made this with red, and this can't attack directly, so I forgot to attack with this and then attack with Mirror Jade directly, but it's fine. It's fine. I misplayed. This is just a, uh advanced, just like custom, custom game or advanced, whatever you call it. So I go Retribution to add back red, set one. And then go end phase, activate Albion effect to set opening. And opening can summon out Quem and do some crazy cool things, which I do like. And then add back the Cartesia as well. And then he adds back Cartesia, which is fine. And then he activates Albion to search for fusion, which is also fine. And then I'm in a pretty decent spot. I really wanted to like set Retribution off of the... Um, the Albion to stop his branded fusion, but I already sent it to Grave, so we just deal with it a different way. But it does make it hard. I wanted it, I wanted that, I really wanted that, but I had for a guy, I was like, oh, it's in Grave, so I can't do that. So we just go for the opening instead for Quem. We can get a pitch tragedy, do some cool things, and then he goes normal summon Albaz. I just mirror Jade, boop boop, get rid of that, send Spriggan's kit. This is so our uh, Spring the Iron Dash. But summon Albaz end phase is nuts. Uh, and then he goes Blazing Cartesia effect, I think, on that. And I do end up doing a play because I was like, okay, he has Blazing Cartesia. Because my plan was with the Branded Fusion, if he just went Branded Fusion, I would chain this, just make Drago Sapelia negate his guy. But since he has the Cartesia, he can dodge it. So I have to do something about that. So I go Quem and then new chain link. Uh, Quem effect, tragedy effect, tragedy, search for follow up, Aluber. And then uh, I dump right here. It's kind of a tough choice. So I dump, I end up dumping another Cartesia. And then we activate red and target the Albaz. He says that's fine. And then so I add that to hand, banish those two for Dragostopelia. And then. I have to Drago Stapelia back the Mercurier to make him go battle or else because if he just went Branded Fusion right here, uh, he would go Branded Fusion, make his guy, I would chain Drago Stapelia, target the Fusion to negate it so he can't make anything, and then he would chain this, and then I would just chain this on field to negate that. So that was up my play to beat that. And then he could just get around this, like I said, by just going battle phase. But that means I live a turn, and that means I get, like, sprint effect during the end phase. And I have a lot more gas than he does at this point because I got Drago Sepelia. Still negate this in battle phase, so that's stopped. And then he just has fusion, which is fine. 
It's kind of see. This is a long game one. It's low key a long game one. But this was a good game though. Brandon Muir, it was, it was pretty fun. I can't lie. So he dumps Albaz and Shroud again and into Lubelion. Lubelion effect discard Aluver. It's fine. He went through both of his. I, I'm assuming he plays two. Two is pretty standard. He went through both of his Albion. So goes for Lubelion. Has to discard the Aluver. Put back Albaz and Lulu for Mirror Jade, which is fine. And then I just have, I just have it now. It's like okay, you can banish one thing. You can banish Mirror Jade, and I brought it back off Adlib, so I can't get the effect. But uh, he just dumps opening and has the Renbrum engraved to bring back an Albaz. Doesn't currently have a discard, but he can get... No, he doesn't have Cartesia engraved either to add back. So we go end phase, and then I go, go sprint effect, and that's just one of its games. So we go Albaz, discard the Cartesia. We're going to add another one back. And then we make Mirror Jade with his Mirror Jade. And I do have opening engrave. So I'm going to be losing this, but it's fine. Because, yeah. And then I had Drago Sepelia for the Mirror Jade. Next turn, if it didn't r resolve or, you know, whatever. It didn't get rid of the Drago Sepelia. So his, uh, what's it called, was still negated. Uh, next game, he has Kit, Cross Out, Aluber, Shroud, and Opening. I have Aluber, Tragedy, Deployment, Albaz, and Cross Out. So a pretty good hand. I kind of play this a little bit weird. I think I could have played this better. Same with the last game. The last game, I also played weird. And I think I could have played better. But he Normal Summons, Aluber, Grabs Fusion, Activate Opening, Discards, Brigade's Kit, Summon Quem, Quem Effect. To go ahead and dump Cartesia, which is fine. And then branded fusion effects. I don't really I don't have any hand traps or anything. Just cross out. But cross out is pretty good. But you know what's crazy though? Crazy as it sounds, I don't know why I did this, but I sided out cross out down to one, bro. And I was like, okay, maybe I should just keep two in because I want I just wanted more hand traps instead of like cross out going second. Cause if like I had to if I have to cross out like branded in red or something, like I lose my branded in red because I don't play the kit. So I was like, I don't want to lose my brand in red. Like, I kind of don't need cross out. So I just went for like more abyss steals and more hand traps like Ash Bell. And I don't have to cross out something. But like just the way the side went and like for the mirror, I was like, okay, I'll just keep one cross out in. I'm not going to have to cross out, cross out. You know, it happens like that, bro. So it, it just happens like that. It's like, what are the odds? We, it, it happens. So he changed Quem to tar uh, target Cartesia and bring it back. Um, but yeah, I only had one cross out in the deck, so I couldn't cross out for cross out, or else this game might have been might have been different. Uh, he gets Mirror Jade right there, and then activates Blazing, and then goes for Grand Goil, Grand Goil effect. And yeah, siding out cross out on the mirror does sound kind of crazy, I'm not going to lie. He dumps Lulu, but it's not the right play. You go for Albion, yep. Oh no, it was, he said misclick, misclick, misclick. Yeah, because you don't have anything to summon really. So he just milled the Albaz real quick. Um, and then sets cross out designator and then goes Albion effect in the end phase to set red, which is fine. And then blazing Cartesia to add back, which is also fine. And then my turn, I draw a bell. So I was like, okay, I beat the red. That's pretty good. That's not bad. And then I go fusion deployment for Cartesia and then normal summon Alubra effect, grab branded fusion, activate branded fusion. And this is where I could have. I didn't have the cross out for cross out, bro. If I had the cross out for cross out, uh, okay, like you can cross out for cross out, right? And then I activate Blazing Cartesia. He activates Mirror Jade, which is like not bad because now I still have like. Actually, no, that was bad because I normal summoned Aluber. For some reason, I, did, I, I was thinking I still have my normal summon, so that's actually just game. That's just game. I searched for Aluber, but I cited, I also cited out, whatchamacallit. But he activates red. I chain ghost bell. And I just quit because I was like, oh, damn. I already normal summon. I'm cooked. Nothing I can really do. Uh, and then, so I'm going first this game. I draw Mercurial, Dark Magician, Fusion, Ash, and Albion. He draws Tragedy, Fusion Deployment, Opening, Fusion Deployment, and Droplet. So Droplet's interesting. It's a new card we haven't seen last format. So we go Albion, Dump Retribution, Drawn to Magma. And then activate branded fusion and it goes through and I say yay. So that's pretty amazing. So we go Lubelion one, discard uh, the Mercurial Tragedy two, search for Aluber, which is fine. Put back, put back for Mirror Jade. 
And then we go normal summon, Aluber effect, search for opening, activate opening, discard Dark Magician, special summon out Quem, Quem effect to go ahead and dump Albaz. Then we can Magnum up, Banish Mercurier, Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, search for Blazing, Blazing effect because Albaz is in grave to go ahead and summon, summon itself out, effect to fusion, that and Aluber because it comes up. It comes up crazy clutch where they out this and they put up on the gate and you go mirror jade one alibur two really uh, this is game saving um so we go quem to bring back out the cartesia and then we ignore to dump albion the ash in hand end phase adding adding the uh whatchamacallit druis worm and setting red pretty nice with ash in hand uh he draws cross out and then he goes main phase one and that is fine. He goes fusion deployment. And then I give that the thumbs up. And he thinks for a little bit. Change droplet. Discard monsters and spells. I can't respond. Negates mirror jade. Blazing Cartesia and Quem. Summons out Albaz. Albaz effect. Discard opening. And I chain mirror jade just to get it engraved because I can bring back my albas and make my own mirror jade with his mirror jade and then he says think and then he just ends up using the mirror jade for his mirror jade and then i go mirror jade effect to pop everything during the end phase and then he says battle phase and i say think because there's like so much i could do here i could have just let him attack over this he still has a mirror jade banish so i was like eh, i kind of want to force that i could have made chimera but then it's like I don't really want to discard my Druid Worm or my Ash. At this point, it's like the last card in hand is not Branded Fusion, so it should have just banished the Ash with the red to make like Chimera or something, but it is what it is. So we just go Rinbrum. I just win. I, I win this game. It's, it's game's basically over. And then Chain to add back for a discard, because like I said, I didn't want to discard the Druid Worm. And then I just force his Mirror Jade here. He has to banish the Albaz. And then... I say red target, and then he changed cross out, banished the red, so that doesn't go through. He beats over Quim. Still just fine. He said I still lose, and then, yeah, GG. Because so I just banished this out of his graveyard. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Quick little video, branded mirror match. I thought it was really fun, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm out.